Hello everyone. Okay, I'm back. Um, I forgot to do um, a post about TEEs, transesophageal echocardiograms. Um, I've had two e TEEs in my life. Um, one, I was already admitted to the hospital when I had sepsis, and the other one was a follow-up TEE um, two months later when I was done with all the antibiotics that I had to take, all the IV antibiotics. So a TEE, um, a transesophageal echocardiogram, uh, is basically they take pictures of your heart, but they go through the esophagus, they go through the throat, as opposed to an outside. Um, with the cardiac catheterizations, they use the dye and they go through the groin and to take the picture of the heart. Well, with the TEE, it's basically uh, a thing, a camera that they put through the throat to get inside to get pictures of the heart. Um, I'm not 100% sure how it works when they're in the room doing the procedure. Um, I didn't research it. I didn't look it up. I just know that I had to have one. So when I was in the hospital, basically they wheeled me over to the um, area where they were going to do the inpatient procedures. And, uh, you know, they get you ready. They get all the information, all your, your, your stats, your vitals, your everything that they need. Um, and they know to know what kind of medicines you're on and all of that. And you're already in a hospital gown on, on the bed. And <clears throat> they cover your head with one of the uh, surgical bonnets. Um, and then they wheel you in to like a waiting area. Kind of, it was like, well, I was wheeled into like a little holding area once they were ready for me. And then they wheeled me into a room and I was there with my, my um, cardiologist and then the anesthesiologist. And they were pretty good. The first time I had it done, I don't remember feeling anything. They basically got me ready. They hooked everything up that they needed to hook up to. And he's like, don't worry, we're gonna do this. We're gonna, we're gonna treat you good, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't feel anything, I was out. I was just, I remember being talking to them and then boom, I'm out, I was asleep. I woke up when the procedure was over, I was groggy and then I fell back to sleep. And I remember my cardiologist telling me something about what happened. I have no clue what he was saying to me because I fell back to sleep. And then when I woke up, my parents uh, explained to me what he told them. And then I also um, spoke with him later on. Um, so that's what happened when I was inpatient. Uh, when I was outpatient, I had to come back again once my IV antibiotics were over. And when you're outpatient, um, you come into wherever you're supposed to go to to get this test done. And you sign in and you wait. And then they take you to the back. Um, and they, they basically get you ready for the procedure. So you have to put on the hospital robe and, um, you know, you ha I kept my socks on. Um, I think they, I don't know what it was called. It was called like OR, the OR something. I don't know. Anyway, so then you're in there and the same thing. They ask you a whole bunch of questions. Make sure you are who you say you are. Um, if you're a woman, they have to make you do like a pregnancy test and all of that stuff just to be on the safe side. Even though you say I'm not pregnant, they still have to make you do one. Um, and I mean, before the test, you, you have to go NPO after midnight, which means nothing by mouth after midnight. Um, and so you don't eat anything heavy or anything because they're going to give you, and they, I think they make you do that anytime you have any kind of um, procedure done that requires anesthesia. Um, so you're not nauseous and sick to your stomach and so you, you don't eat anything. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to think because there's really nothing I remember about inside the procedure. This time when I went in, it was the same thing. They wheeled me in and then they finally wheeled me into this procedure room and there's, you know, cameras and they have everything ready. Um, but you're basically just in a bed, like on a stretcher kind of bed and they set you back. They lay you flat. Um, and they get you ready and they roll you over to your side. Cause I'm guessing they have to give you like the, um, the medicine through the, the thing. This time I felt it burn through my arm. I was like, I felt it burning. Like it felt like radiation, like going in it, it, it burned, but then that was it. I was like, ha ha. And then I, I, I remember falling asleep. So last time I didn't feel it burn. This time I felt it burn. 
uh, nothing compared to when I had my catheterization when I was 10 and I felt my whole body burning. Like with, it felt like radiation throughout my whole entire body because I was in and out for that catheterization. Yeah, uh, but this was not, it was only the, the part of my arm where it was going in. Um, but that was it. Again, I fell asleep. I didn't even wake up. You know how sometimes they tell you because it's go they're, they're putting those, the thing down your throat and you wake up with, some people say they woke up with really sore throats and like it was horrible and it was scratchy and itchy. I didn't feel any of that either time. So I was perfectly fine. And the first time, you know, I was a little bit nervous because I had not had it done, but you're asleep the whole time. So it's nothing really to be worried about. It's one of those tests where they knock you out. And I love those kinds of tests because you don't have to feel a thing and you're good. And when it's over, it's over. So, um, so yeah, so those were, I, th that was the only two times I had it. And basically it's just like getting ready for any other outpatient procedure. Or if you're inpatient, it's a little different because you're already in the hospital. But, um, yeah, so it, it was pretty, it was the same, kind of the same way before I had my tonsils removed. It's like, cause I was already inpatient. So they wheel you where they're supposed to wheel you. They get you ready. They put the surgical bonnet on you. Uh, cause when I had sepsis, um, last year I had it, uh, in November and December, I had it in November and I was hospitalized and they, there was this thing on my tonsil that they had to remove. Um, so I was inpatient for, I was actually dying of sepsis in my house for nine days. Then I was admitted to the hospital and I was in the hospital for nine days because, um, because of my heart condition, it wanted to make sure that the IV antibiotics were working and, and they didn't want to release me until they knew, but there was the thing on my tonsil. So they ended up having to get my tonsils removed as well. So, um, you know, I went in for the fevers and then I ended up getting my tonsils removed, but, uh, which I could talk about that too, but this is about TEEs. So, um, so yeah, uh, other than that, I don't really remember anything else. I know the first time I was inpatient and it was, I went back up to my room when I was done. And the second time I went back to like their little holding area when I was finished. But then once I was okay, they just, they let me go. They, they were like, okay, you're good to go. I don't, I had to, I don't even remember if I had to sign a paper or not. I was still a little groggy. You have, of course, if you're outpatient, you have to have somebody drive you. Anytime you have anesthesia done, you cannot be driving on your own. There's no way. Um, so you have to have somebody driving you once you're done with the procedure. Uh, that's it. I don't, if you have any other questions, feel free to comment below because I, I don't really remember much. It was basically one of those ones you're asleep for. So there's really no prep for it. Um, it was easy and uh, it was pain free for, on my end because I didn't end up having the throat pain when I was done with it. Um, it's making me want to go Google it now and find out all that's actually involved in it because I didn't even Google it before I had it done. I was just like, okay, whatever. You need to give me an echo where you go through my throat? Fine, whatever. Pfft, okay. You know, I trust my cardiologist. I'm like, whatever. So, uh, um, so that's basically from my end and going through it what a uh, TEE is and what's involved. All right, uh, I don't know what other videos I'm gonna post, but just look for the look for them. I'll, I'll be on the lookout and I will be posting some more eventually, maybe. All right, uh, thank you for watching this video.